Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for kind of like a part three <laughs> in this clothes, colours journey. Yeah, exactly. I have Sean back with me, who's a stylist here in London and she helped me with my colour analysis. There's a whole video on that if you want to watch. And today we're at my house because we are doing a wardrobe edit. Da, da, da. <laughs> it is kind of the transition time into spring and summer. Yep. And so I have busted out all of my spring and summer clothes that were previously in vacuum packed bags and we're just gonna do a big like wardrobe clear out and what else, please explain. <laughs> well, it's a perfect time to do it for a number of reasons. One, you've just nailed your color analysis so we can it. put it all into practice. Mm -hmm. Two, the changing of the season because it's now spring. Yeah. Again, big crossover there. We can swap everything out. And three, it's very much less is more. And what we want to do is create you a really lovely capsule wardrobe that you can really make work hard for you. Yeah. Rather than you going, ah, I've got nothing to wear. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go through all, do a mini cleanse. We're going to pull new looks together. I'm very excited because there's definitely some items that I can think of that I'm like, I love this, but I don't know what I have yeah. that would go with it or how to wear it. So I'm excited for that. And I by no means have a capsule wardrobe, as you can <laughs> see, but we're still going to like prune it and make it as effective as possible. I like that prune. Prune. Yeah. Prune the drove. <laughs> so we've got this whole rail behind us, but then also just like like piles of clothes, also like shoes, bags, accessories, everything on the floor and on the sofa in front of us. But we're gonna start with the rail. Okay. Ah! You ready? Let's go. <laughs> I feel like I need to acknowledge the wedding dress is out. Just, she needed some love and attention. We had to give her a breather. Yeah, and also we realized that my wedding dress was spring colors. It was a spring yellow, even though I didn't know anything about color analysis at the time. So. Smashed it. Did good. Right, phase one is we're gonna put everything into piles. So first pile will be love, wear all the time, no issues, no dramas, easy. Nice. Pile two, love, little bit of confusion as to how do I wear this or I need, I'd like more options. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it could also be things you don't wear as much. Okay. So we can try and include them more in your day to day yeah. life, especially now that you are working all the time, you've got more hours for more clothes. More clothes, <laughs> please. More clothes, please. Yeah. And the third pile is perhaps a little bit tired, perhaps a little bit holy. I'm very anti holes and clothes, just <laughs> FYI. <laughs> or perhaps things that aren't in your season you don't love as much. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that you can't wear anything in your season. I'm not saying you can't wear anything you love. It's all about what, how it makes you feel. Yeah. However, we want some clarity in your wardrobe. Some cohesiveness. Exactly. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> Do we just start from yeah. over here? Obviously, this is more dressy, but... Yeah, so that one for me is like in the not sure what to yeah. do with Yeah, realm. for sure. So yeah. also a bit more dressy, so maybe we'll pop it with your wedding dress for now. <laughs> this one is also just like not my fave. I bought it as like a breastfeeding thing, mm -hmm. but it just, I don't think the fit is right on me. Cool, so we'll put that in a try-on pile. Okay. This is another special occasion one. It's so booby though, yeah. because I can't wear a bra with it, but yeah. I have worn it braless and it's just a, a big cleavage uh, fest, but I don't mind it. So it could be for girl time, could be maybe a date night as well. Uh, yeah, why not? A what? <laughs> <laughs> What's a date night? <sighs> cool. Let's put it in the try on just yeah. to make sure we're happy. Yeah, the viewers are gonna love that. Next up. This I love. Um, this is new. I wore it to a wedding recently. It's also buttons, so breastfeeding appropriate. And I'm pretty sure it's a spring colour. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> Black velvet jumpsuit. <sighs> I'm on the fence about it. I don't okay. think. It's so comfy. Yeah. And like, I sometimes wear it with a lovely fluffy Disney jumper that I have over the top oh. and it really dresses it down. Yeah. But then also it can be super dressed up. So it's like, I Point think it's you. a good staple, but I'm not like wearing super it a lot. Super versatile, yeah. yeah. Well, let's look at ways of brightening up as well. Mm. So this is one of my specifically breastfeeding dresses. Yes. Little Jojo Mama. Jojo Mama Bubba. Yeah. Um, and I, I loved it at first, but actually I don't think the fit is that great on me? So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll try it on. We'll try her on, It's yeah. useful. I like this. This yep. is like a cute little play suit. Urban Outfitters, summery. blimey. Yeah. I bought this last minute in New York when there was a party and I hadn't packed for a party. <laughs> and I bought this. <laughs> I love the stories that clothes have. Yeah, I do think I need to try this on though. I don't think it fits anymore. 
This is on the fence about, not sure how to style it. It's actually a maternity shirt. Okay. And I wear it as a dress. I was gonna say, it looks very long to be a shirt. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Okay, these, my shirts. This one's a bit tattered. They both still get like worn a lot, yeah. like cash days. I think the styling, I'm struggling with them both. Yeah. So yeah. being brutal, this does look a little bit tired, yeah. a little bit bobbly. But what we can do, let's have a look at styling them to see yeah. how we can keep them, make them a bit more contemporary. Okay, yes. Uh, but this is good in good nick. Yeah, this one's fairly nick. Yeah. This one's another one that I think served its day, unless I can figure out how to style it, because I'm just like neutral towards it and I never wear it because I'd the only thing I know what to wear this with is black jeans. Mm -hmm. Well, let's keep, <laughs> keep it for now. So it's in, we'll call it quarantine. Qu you are in trouble. <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. All right, this skirt, it's never been worn. My friend gave it to me and I ended up getting it tailored so it would fit. Yeah. But I just, I don't think it's for me. So two things we can do here. We can try and brighten it up with some of your tops tops and see how we feel but if you're still not feeling the love of it then we can say au revoir au revoir yeah so again quarantine quarantine oh, these, these are new lucy and yak jeans so it's the same shape as the rainbow yeah but just in a denim right. and then these are the same shape again but in a bright pink i think i need help figuring out what to wear with these though fine the pink ones yep like the denim, I can do. Fully Out of my comfort zone. Fully support the yeah. bold. Fully support the bold. Dress bold, dress bold. Okay, need help styling this. This is the petticoat that went with my wedding dress. Lovely. That's the only one that I can think that it would like fit under. We all see. Watch this space too. Yeah. I don't actually wear my leather jacket as much as I used to, but she doesn't really get worn that much. It's sad. I know. She's a little bit tired. She also is very old. This was actually sent to me from that Kettlewell brand that you can filter by colour season. Yep. I wore that recently with, da, 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 where are you? Oh yeah, with this thing for the wedding. That was the look. Smashed it. This I bought for some Snow White Disney bounding when I went to Disneyland. <laughs> Black belt, brown belt. This red belt gets used so much yep. in summer for yep. me. This actually is part of a jumpsuit that's over there. Yep. This is a belt that came with those trousers wherever they are, but I wear it as a headband. Yeah, I love that. So, so for ease of your wardrobe and how you store your tops, yeah. I'd put all your long sleeves together. Okay, oh, you know how to fold properly. I don't, I did it wrong. So <laughs> if you hold... <laughs> This is, I'm on the fence about. If we're being brutal about colours, do we think that's the closest, that's, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's too muted. This was fall into that autumn palette. Yeah. I just don't know how to wear it though, because it's like short sleeved but mm. thick. I think the neckline's good for you. Yeah. And I don't actually have many things that do have a low neckline like that. I would like to maybe figure out how to style it. All right. I think. Let's give her a go then, shall we? Yeah. This. I don't know how to wear. That's a, that could be a nice evening top though, right? Yeah. Obviously Pile. we love this new. Yes, and I've not had a chance to wear it yet, obviously, because it's not the weather yet. Yeah. But I would love some help on styling this. I Perfect. Think. Hello. Hello. Love her, love her, love her. This, I, I like, but I don't know how to wear. Fine. And I don't wear that often. Easy to restyle. Hello, yeah, very this, nice. This is quite tight, so it doesn't get worn that much okay. because it's a bit of more of a like going out yep. vibe. It's a stand-up skirt. It's, a, it's <laughs> exactly that, it's a stand-up skirt. <laughs> this jumper I've had for years, I'm obsessed with, I can never let it go. I but I also love don't the know how to wear it. That's fine, we can... Restyle pile. Restyle pile. This a spring yellow. Yes. Okay. So the reason it is is because can you see it's really bright. Yes. And it's quite light and clear. Let's look at. So I wasn't sure if this might have been like a winter one because it's. No, winter's more neon. Right. Okay. This is more autumn muted. Think of literally the season, so the autumn yeah. leaves. Think of like daffodils yeah. in spring. Winters are neons 
in terms of wearing yellows because they need the real high contrast vibrancy. Yeah, because I wasn't sure if this was that kind of vibrancy. So No, for me this is really gold, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. And your summers are, are the lovely pastely soft. Mm -hmm. Any colour. <laughs> Any colour. <laughs> this is the one that I love, my breastfeeding jumper that's got oil stains on it. Oh, no. So if I were to dye this, yeah. what colour can I go that's darker that would still be spring? I wonder if a um, like a bright red. My money's on a stronger red. Yeah. Okay. It needs so to be stronger. So there's a possibility of saving this. because it's a muted colour. It's in danger of going a bit brown. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it has to be super vibrant. It needs vibrant. to be vibrant. Yeah. Because if you mix it with any other colours, it's going to go a bit sludgy. And we, you know, love a sludgy colour, but we want it to be brighter. And it has to be intentional sludge if that's what you want. Yeah. <laughs> so the next piles that we have are actually all of the clothes that have been packed away either because they're spring and summer clothes or because they haven't been like breastfeeding friendly. So I'm really excited because this is fun. This is the fun part of it where it's like, oh my god, I forgot I had that. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. literally like getting a whole new wardrobe. This I bought for some Little Mermaid Disney bounding. Yeah. Maybe I keep for my next Disney land. <laughs> for sure, I mean. I think it needs to be kept for that specific purpose because it is amazing. This dungaree dress was upcycled by Lucid Seams and this is an old first aid kit merch t-shirt that no longer fit me. Oh, that's very cool. And then we added it to the dungaree dress. <laughs> this is staying, obviously. Of course. This could be one to figure out how to style mm -hmm. because of the thin straps, and I'm bad when it comes to that because of Bra bras. Itch. But I wore this a lot when pregnant in the winter with mm -hmm. like my black top underneath. Yeah, you could even do... But I want to figure out how to actually wear this. Cool. This is, I don't know, do you recognise this dress? No, should I? <laughs> it's oh my god, oh no, 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 13 going on 13. <laughs> oh my god, yes! <laughs> When did you get that? I found it on Depop and I bought it to wear on my 30th birthday and I was 30 weeks pregnant. Um, but I think I need to find it a new home because oh my God, they, no, I, I to, no. I, I know, but I had to wear a top underneath it because obviously okay. it's got this situation with the boobs and oh I was pregnant. Oh my God. Um, but I need to rehome it for someone who was going to be turning 30 soon. I wish I wasn't already 32. <laughs> okay. <gasps> We're getting there, we're getting there. One more pile. Shoes. This is a category for me that needs some love. These are all very old pairs of shoes, well loved, still functional, mm -hmm. most of them. Mm -hmm. So this for is... me, shoes are a bit like speaking a different language in the world of style. Okay, what does so... that mean? <laughs> I don't speak the shoe language clearly. Oh, I call it shoe math. <laughs> It's my kind of I like maths, so that's fine. Great, so I like shoes, you like maths, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Now, when we pair shoes with different outfits, the easiest way to kind of figure out what goes with what is if you've got a dark outfit mm -hmm. or an outfit with a lot of black in, you want your dark shoes mm -hmm. because they're all a really high contrast. Right. If you've got a middle kind of outfit in terms of a little bit of black, a little bit of neutrals, maybe pops of colour, mm -hmm. you can go for something like uh, more of a warm, shoe or something with that a bit is of the color on. yeah oh, okay. or it's got texture so it could be like a textured black like this because so that's got like the snake skin vibe on it yeah or metallic mm. because metallic goes with everything it's a contemporary neutral oh there you go if you've got a bright outfit on yeah which we're gonna go down yeah. that route <laughs> again metallic or light yeah okay Okay. I don't feel ready to part with any of these shoes mm -hmm. at the moment. Yep. They're all still functioning. Like I've had these almost 10 years. They've been like rehealed and resold many times. Same with these. These I got for a pound in a jumble sale. Love them. And these are like a hero going out, like giving me some height. Yeah. I was wearing these in the video when we were standing <laughs> at the rail because of our height difference. And so these are good for- They'll go with anything. Yeah. These are just like my go-to, like, summer sandals, mm -hmm. but I don't like that they're black mm -hmm. because actually they end up not going with a lot of my clothes. Yeah. And every time I go to put together like a summer outfit and I wear those, I'm like, I wish these were brown. See, it's the shoe map because yeah. you've got a bright outfit on, you've yeah. got a dark shoe. Doesn't add up. <sighs> yes. 
So I'd suggest something back. like a metallic sandal or oh. a printed sandal for you. Okay. For summer. So I'll put that on our list. Mm. The reason a metallic will work, for example, gold, is that will go with everything because metallic is a contemporary neutral. Hello. I think there is stuff missing from my shoe vibe because that to me is the part that I struggle with when yeah. I pull together an outfit and then just like, oh, I guess I'll just wear these with it. So I think you need some cool flats. Not sure what they are yet, but that's because we've not gone through your outfits and what you need. So yeah. we can have a look together. And I think I need some cool flats because I actually I ended up wearing these boots with that outfit for the wedding because I was like, I don't have anything. No in between, really. Uh, yeah, no in between of like, I'm going to a wedding, but I want to wear flats. Yeah. I maybe could have worn these. I don't know. Anyway, I went with the boots. Yeah, fine. <laughs> so that's the shoes. Let's do bags. Bags and scarves. Let's start with scarves. We're not going into winter, so this is not super relevant for now. But generally, the only scarf that I think that I don't really use that much is this one. Mm -hmm. This is my Taylor Swift red scarf. It, I know it's not a spring, yeah, but, but it's if, Taylor Swift red. If anyone ever mentions Taylor Swift, then that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> my friend knitted this. Oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> My friend knitted this to me Lovely. out of spare wool that she had, so obsessed with this. I think it's got and all then, your colours in, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, yep. it's got a good amount of spring colours yep. in. So these handbags, right, here's the situation. I need my handbag to be able to fit my emergency stoma bag. Right, in, fine. Which is where these two come in. Yep. The, it fits in these two perfectly. Basically my autumn handbag, and yep. this is my spring summer Love handbag. It. Since I got these, I found I never used the black one. So actually, like it's still in good nick, yep. but I've, I've not reached for it in so long. So you could long. sell her then. Took us a while. Always does. But phase one is done. What is next? Next up, what we are going to do is start pulling new looks together. So we've got this section on the rail yeah. that we're not 100% sure with fit, what you want to do with it, how you want to style it. So we're going to restyle each piece with two or three options. Okay. So that you've got different ways of wearing it, so it becomes much more useful for you. Nice. And we'll take pickies as well, so you've got visual references. <gasps> okay. We have organised the rail and we're going to do a little bit of a try on sesh with these ones here which are like my maybes, need to figure out how to wear them if I can't and I'm still not vibing with it then. Exactly, so yeah. it's try on session time, do a little bit more weeding, a bit more organising and then we'll be ready for stage three. Yeah, also this is the true height difference because <laughs> it's a trying on sesh now I don't have the uh, movie magic shoes on anymore. <laughs> okay, so Outfit one. These are both two items that I'm confused by. Yep. And they immediately go together. It's like magic. <laughs> <laughs> but my main questions here are like, how else can I wear this sparkly top for going out? Like what other combos are there? My main concern is actually the trousers because I love these trousers. Yeah, they look so amazing. Much, but I just don't think I've got many tops that go with it. So I think mm -hmm. that's my priority. It's like, what tops? Do we want something plain? because mm. obviously they've got the texture on them. So we could try them with this that you're worried about. Red and orangey yellow look really lovely together because they're tonal colors. So they sit near each other yeah. on the color. But wheel. I would never have put these together. I don't, I, there's something about that. The color or the texture? The colors. Hey, remember the color wheel? With the... Yeah, but I'm like, it's the wrong orange. No? I think you might be overthinking it. Am I? Yeah. <gasps> Do you think it needs to be brighter? Oh, I don't know. Because I literally just wear black or white with yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So you can, obviously you can wear black because they've got black in. Yeah. But we're forgetting our friend red. Yeah. Now you can wear red in so many different ways. If they didn't have the black on them, would you consider wearing an orange? Probably, but I just, yeah, I've never been convinced by, I think it would have to be like a darker orange. No? No, no. no rules. No, no rules. rules. Why don't we so try it together then? Would I be able to do this? Yes, exactly. Really? Because... In my head, like this is like a completely different tone yeah. to that. And so I never would have thought that I would be able to wear them together. And we, well, we also want to make sure it works with what you have in your wardrobe. So yeah. I think in, in, in terms of tone, I think that's probably a bit better. Okay, yeah. Than that, because it's a bit darker. That one's a bit brighter. Why don't we try this bright red then? See, I would never have thought that I could, would put two different 
reds together like that. So it's like the monochromatic yeah. colour that we were talking about. So any red will go with any red. Really? Any orange will go with any orange. Yeah, it's just oh. thinking about it in a totally different way. Wait, but is this a red? But if we dye this, a brighter red. There we go, she's in. <laughs> she's I'm <sold>. in. <laughs> the easiest way will be this black top that you have worn them with before, yeah. right? That will, of course, work. But I just want you to think about wearing, you know, because you're not afraid of colour. No. It'll be nice for you to... I'm not wear afraid of it. I am not afraid. <laughs> It'll be nice for you to wear it in a different way. Yeah. Why don't we try it? I like it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you like it now, do you? I like it. God damn it. Someone's changed the chin. <laughs> but this is great because this is also a top that I was confused about. Yeah. The V-neck really suits you. And because you're yeah. a busty gal, mm -hmm. what it does is break up the girls. So it draws attention to your face. So everyone talks to her beautiful face instead of... Break up the girls. Could I wear this cardigan with this outfit? Well, <laughs> I think in terms of textures, I think it's going to be one too many textures. Right. Do you remember when we were talking about wearing three different colours together? That was... <laughs> Better. It's a bit sunrisey, isn't it? I really... I don't want to say no because I really like where your brain's going with this. But I'm worried it's not in 100% quite there. Yeah. So but normally, I'm not knocking you. Normally my go-to with this is then I would just shove on a grey cardi. Mm -hmm. Denim will be particularly cool with that, so yeah, why don't you denim, try that? Denim would be like a different kind of vibe, wouldn't it? That for me I think could be quite good practical-wise as well, no? Yeah, can just easily like still whip out a boob. Right, the ultimate question though is what shoes in the shoe maths realm? Well, so going back to shoe maths, we've got mid, so we can go mid-range. Yes, she's done it. The orange trainers. <laughs> My work is done. <laughs> Interestingly, I don't think I've ever worn these leggings with the orange trainers. I've always opted for wearing the cream with them. Yeah. Just because well, I always thought that they clashed. I think the but... cream will also work. Yeah. So you've got options, options, to be honest. This. Yep. That isn't just jeans. <laughs> and the same with that top that I had yep. on before. Let's do your top first because you're wearing it. These two yes. will work. Do you know what? I think I have worn this with both of these before. Oh, she's a so natural. When I, I think when I wore it with these, I was a bit confused by it originally, but I was just like, there's something about this that works. Yeah. <laughs> because it's a monochromatic palette. Yeah. And this um, makes it really classic. So, yeah. done. Done. Okay. And then what else can I wear with this bad boy? This bad boy can go with this gorgeous gal, obviously. Ooh. Hello. I like that, yeah. Oh, also this will work. Okay, three. <laughs> oh, no, four, because oh, we've got these, but these trousers uh, as well. And five. Okay. <laughs> keep the top, keep the top. Okay, the top is staying. Everyone needs some sequins. <laughs> this so. one, I think you can wear. Obviously, you'll want a black top under that. Yes, one of my thermals. <laughs> Lovely little thermal uh, under that. Keep yeah. it nice and toasty. Yeah. That, I think, will work with that. You could dress this up, I think. Ooh. You? Yeah, I like that. I think you, again... Could I also... Where is she? Yes, definitely. And this? Yes. And this? Basically any bottom that's got a bit of black in it. Yep. And this? <laughs> keep. Okay. Definitely keep. We might just need to get you a little cami, black cami or something. Yeah, I'm, I think I've got one of those. One of them is my nursing vest, so... Gorgeous. <laughs> done. Okay, this is this situation it just feels wrong on me it might just need like a little tailor of shortening i think there's too much happening here as well it's creating extra bagginess here and because mm. you're busted we actually want to keep everything really neat and tidy yeah if that makes sense it's not following you here so it's adding bulk in areas we don't want it to i think you just need to shorten it as well so the options are get it made into a skirt oh yeah you could also bring it up slightly I'd say above your knee. Where's your knee? There. <laughs> Where's she gone? <laughs> it's feeling your legs. So I think above the knee could be quite a nice option. And then all of your amazing basics that you got from your secondhand haul yeah. will look beautiful with this because it's essentially neutral because it's ivory with a bit of black. Yeah. That's could... where the elastic currently yeah. is, but it probably would have to... We can leave it to the dream team, but what yeah. they'll do is they can detach the top to the skirt and yeah. then they'll make you a new top bit. Yeah. yeah. So this, I love the pattern and the stuff on it obviously nursing <laughs> pockets i think the length might be just slightly wrong on me yeah and also i think the fact that it's got these like three quarter length sleeves makes me look 
35 instead of 31. I don't know what it is. I think it just like, even though it's obviously like a mum dress and I'm a mum. You can be a cool mum. I think it's just like slightly more mature. So you could probably and just do that. And I feel slightly more childish. There you go. Done. <laughs> Completed it. It's finished. So go shorter because I think it's the length that we don't really want. So above the knee. Yeah. And then... Done. You can okay. go for a trainer, you can go for sandal in the summer, denim jacket, leather yeah. jacket. I don't I don't think I could wear this in the summer just because it's it too heat. hot. It's thick, it's black and it's long sleeved. Yeah. But yeah. So spring and autumn or winter. Yeah. So you can go black tights, leather jacket, black boots, or denim trainer. Trainer. Yeah. Combo. This is another one that I'm just not sure on the shape mm. on me. Like, see what it does to my boobs? Like it gives me the mono boob. I also then have to contend with bra straps. I think you're better just... off when things come in much closer to your yeah. waistline. I think I'm gonna keep this in my uh, maternity mm -hmm. wear yep. box. It's a good shape for that. Yeah. And also, I just love the print. I think it's really lovely. Yeah. So keep heads. this for potential future use. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, just, it's not. Drama with the bra, drama with the boobs. <laughs> So, so I mean, this is the situation. I've worn this on a red carpet. Yeah. With perfect. With these shoes. Yeah. And it was a vibe. Yeah. And I kept it just because. Because. Yeah. Because. Hello. <laughs> but I don't know if it has any other use beyond like making a yeah. statement. Just yeah, because yeah. I don't think there's any way I can dress this down. Probably not. <laughs> Even if we wanted to put another top on over the top, I think it would ruin how beautiful. The jumpsuit is. Yeah. If we're being brutal again, it's not actually your colour. There's also that. And also, I think the crotch comes down too low. And I think also, you'd, if you were to wear it, I think you'd feel conscious, no? I mean, I didn't. Oh, no, I kind of did last time, but I went for it anyway. Yeah. She went for <laughs> I went for it anyway. Yeah, I just don't think I'm going to wear this again. Done. Next. Next. When I had a lot of extra stuff going on, yeah. this actually fit really well. Mm -hmm. But now it's totally wrong. <laughs> Either it's saved for, for a different purpose, yeah. shall we say, yeah. or it needs there needs a lot of editing going on. It does need a lot of Like, editing. if you had a bump, then this, is, this comes up higher, right? I think this is only fit for if you're expecting. Could do with a few inches of <laughs> <laughs> I think I only wore it once whilst pregnant and yeah. it was for a photo shoot, so the length didn't, didn't really matter. matter. Are you going yeah. to wear it then, if but you were? Potentially, if yeah. I got pregnant again, I would, I would like hoist the bottom up. Yeah. Um, Get it I don't want to alter it to fit me now. No. Just yet. No, that'd be silly. Yeah. This still fits. She's in. And it feels good. It's so comfy. It's such a great shape Lucy on you. Lucy. Good for those hot days. Yeah. This will be good for, yeah, summer and still being able to breastfeed. Yep, perfect. It's a keeper. And you can also add a belt. The red accessories. I mean, because yeah. I also have that red bag as well. The red yeah. accessories is just a vibe. Also, I think you could go neutral if you wanted Ooh. more with, with your trains and stuff. Yep. Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> this skirt. I've already had it tailored, so it fits widthways but I didn't bother getting length done so I'm not sure if the length is all wrong oh, I don't know I don't know but I also don't think I've got really any tops that go with it first of all pop this on let's see if it does anything see if it does <laughs> see if it does anything beauty of this is it's got loads of different colors in it so you can go yellow you can go blue you can go green why don't we put your new green top on oh hello <laughs> whoa there I think the petticoat isn't right it elevates in a way that we don't want. Here we are. We've got tailored skirt with a brand new top. Colour combos together. Gorge. Yeah. How do you feel on the skirt? I think because the top feels like summery to me because it's like yep. pits out. And this material is thick. Yeah. So this feels like a winter skirt to me. Fine. You know I agree with you. It's way too hot for summer. Yeah. So let's it's try you with... I think colour combo wise though yeah. works. Yeah. See I tried this together and it is that exact colour. So basically I just need long sleeve versions in all of the block primary spring colours. <laughs> to be honest I don't think that's a bad idea at all. The beauty of having decent basics is they will open up your wardrobe to so many more options. Mm -hmm. Um, Kettlewell that we keep talking about are really good. They're yes. basics, I've got loads of them. I feel like because we're about to go into spring, summer, it's not going to get its yeah. chance. So I think keep. we keep it and see what happens with it next Great. winter. Yeah, noted. 
Is it too much? Or is it no, just that's... enough? I think for an event, yeah, but it can't be with a casual top. We need a blouse or something. So this is the thing, I don't think I have any got, um, like uncasual tops. Need a few blouses in your spring colours. For example, where's your black one? This thing. Something like this would be lovely with that if it wasn't black. Yes. Also, we're not going for wasp vibes. Still too cash, probably. Too cash, I'm afraid, yeah. Yeah. So on your list are going some basics and some blouses. What is a blouse? That's my a button question. down, yeah. Is this dressed up enough? Depends on the vibe you're going for. Yeah. So I think the fit of these jeans look fine. There's just something about them when I'm moving and actually doing stuff in them that then suddenly I'm like... I think they're too big, that's why you're... But then they fit here, like they're tight on my legs and my thighs. You tell me they're not too big for you. Yeah, but then how am I supposed to get anything over my thighs? So the other option is you could get jeans in a similar fit, but they've got the movement here. Mm. So they'll, so when I say movement, I mean like elastic here. Yeah, yeah. So the elastic, I'm not saying it's because you need elastic to go out, I'm saying you need the elastic to go in where you go in. Yeah. And then round where you go round. So it's like, it was, because you'll get, do you get the gap here with your jeans? Yeah. Hello. Annoying. Yeah, see? I mean, I'm not going to be wearing black jeans in the summer. That's no, not you'll melt. Right. Okay, shirts. Try this. I think it's shrunk in the wash. To win me over on the blouse, what we've got to do is either tuck. The reason we tuck things in is I'm going to mention legs for days again, right? Legs. If you cut yourself off for here, it looks like your legs finish here. Yeah, or start here. Or start here. Either, either not the vibe. <laughs> we want them up here so you yeah. look taller. Yeah, which is funny because I'm always such a high-waisted, crop top, tucking in person. And then when it comes to these shirts, I'm like, nope, let it all hang loose. No, I think it might be I think time. she's bobbly. I'm I, sorry, she's got to go. I think she served her purpose. We've had a good run. Also, I think the rest of my wardrobe doesn't work. With it? With. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. Well, you know exactly what I'm going to say. Yeah. But this one, I'm a lot more reluctant to get rid of just mm -hmm. because it's new and in really good condition. Yep, fine. We'll just smarten it up a bit. Oh, hello. Yeah? yeah. And then shoe-wise, boots and probably your white trainers Wait. to give it a lift. The white trainers would give it like more casual yeah. vibes as well. And then the these boots would then dress up the look yep. a bit more. Exactly. This is a size 14 maternity dress and I'm a size 10 and not currently pregnant. So, yeah. so it is. There's a, there's a lot of things not quite. <laughs> I suggest going in. Oh, hello. The reason for that. Gives a cleaner. Yes, yeah, cleaner edge, darling. Yeah, cleaner edge. You spend less time faffing around with trying to keep it up and, ooh, you know, getting yeah. frustrated. So go in. Because this is kind of smarter dress anyway, so you want the smits. It is a bit. What would you wear it for? A party? Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. I do occasionally wear this. I think I'm going to see how it like works this spring. Yep. Probably not one for summer just because I hate wearing sleeves, sleeves and things on my armpits in the summer. I would never have thought of like this kind of camel-y colour with red. I don't <gasps> think I would ever have... Really? It's like the dream combo. Is it? Yeah. I just never would have like Camel. thought of those two. Camel's your perfect neutral. When we started doing the neutrals mm -hmm. and it went with literally every single colour yeah. that you have. It's so funny. So Camel's a great neutral for you. I know you're not massively into neutrals, which but it's might good be why to it's have hard. like neutral, like this already, yeah. like has made has made a difference to lots of yeah. outfits, and I now can't get it off. <laughs> would you like some help? <laughs> I bought this when I was 19 years old in a vintage shop in Paris, Aww. and I've not let go of it. So I've had it for like 12 years now. It has one downside, two downsides. Mm. One. It's quite scratchy. So whenever I do wear it, it has to be winter because I have to have another like long sleeve top yep. underneath it to like break it up. And then also I just actually don't gravitate towards it that much. And I don't know why. I just Might don't be. pick it up that much. But maybe it's because I'm deterred by the itchiness. And um, the neckline as well, maybe. Maybe. But it is just one that then when I do put it on, I'm like, oh my God. I love it. Yeah. The colours are fantastic. Yeah. And I think it's, for me, I think it looks like a really great vintage little number. Yeah. And, and I think there's so the unique. sentimentality of it, of having it for so long. Like, I can't bring myself to get rid of it. I think it's just like, what else can I wear this with other than jeans? I think also it just holds loads of stories, doesn't it? Mm. We love those. Yeah. Okay, so let's try it with, what have we got here? Oh. Should we give these a while? Yeah, because I wanted to figure out what else I could wear with those. There you go. Hmm. Here Kablamo. she is. Yes, I mean, it's, we're going into the wrong season. 
but however i mean i suppose it's a jumper in spring anyway so yeah this would be good for for days you want to brighten up when it's spring also winter so i'd go trainers and i think because i gravitate towards like darker clothes in the winter like being able to wear the pink jeans in colder months as well would be fun yeah and yeah trainers so if you had corduroy bottoms if you had your denim skirt in the winter denim with skirt, um yeah, tie tights. with obviously jeans dungarees great love it and it's got these beautiful bright colors in that we love yeah it's literally got that pink in it mm -hmm. so yeah done now what we're gonna do is pull together some outfits some fun combos and do a little fashion show Restyle for session, yeah. Yeah. What fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Sean Pleasure. for being here and helping with the wardrobe edit and lending your expertise. I'm super excited to just like to pull together new outfit combos for spring summer yep. and I'm excited to get my shopping list for like if and when, when, the, you feel ready. when the mood takes me, when I feel ready <laughs> and also when I find the right thing exactly. as well. Needs to be yeah. right, but you're going to learn that you'll be shopping with purpose, yes. which is fantastic. So that will stop any panic buys. Mm -hmm. And also, instead of you looking at your wardrobe and going, oh gosh, I don't know what to wear, your wardrobe will be working hard for you. Yeah, exactly. So instead of wearing 20% of it, you'll be wearing all of it. That is the plan. That is the plan. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. What things should I be wearing together? If there are any outfit combos that you spotted that we didn't. Mm. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.